They're distant cousins to groundhogs, being that they are both types of rodents. Okay, and what family are they a part of? So closest, closest related to like your squirrels. You can really tell rodents by those giant incisors that they have in the front, just like you'd see on squirrels. And they've got to constantly be chewing to wear those down. And that's where they are much alike uh, groundhogs. Got it, okay. And so, you know, we shake hands to say hello and you know, dogs, you know, kind of sniff where they're gonna sniff. But how do these guys breed each other? It's actually pretty cool. Oh, they, they started to do it right there for just a second, uh, but they'll actually walk up and they rub teeth and they'll actually even do it to us sometimes if we're down here taking care of them and it's like whoa now obviously we're not using our teeth but they'll come up to us and just rub those teeth on us and it's pretty intimidating because those are some pretty massive teeth but that's how they give their their kisses and their handshakes so to speak gotcha all right so how many species of prairie dogs are there and what kind are these there's five different species uh, these particular ones are black tail prairie dogs which is what you can actually find around here in texas Okay, and they have these intricate underground colonies, which is why you step lightly in here. Right? <laughs> That's right, okay. we have to be really careful where they step. But yeah, they've got those uh, big underground towns is what they call them. And they're just really intricate tunnels that can actually spread for miles and miles. They have areas where they'll go to the bathroom, areas where they'll sleep, areas where they'll store food, that sort of thing. Where was the biggest prairie dog town found? So believe it or not, up in North Texas, uh, expanding about 25,000 square miles was the largest prairie dog town, uh, estimated to have over 400 million prairie dogs living there at one time. Oh my gosh, the size of Maryland. That's pretty impressive, that's right. <sighs> okay, so they may look incredibly cute, but they are like little ninjas, is that right? That's right, these guys can actually be pretty aggressive. They've got really sharp claws, really strong sharp teeth, and uh, there's a lot of predators out there that would, would want to call these guys food. So they're capable of ganging up on even large animals to defend themselves. How does their vocabulary and communication stack up to the rest of, you know, kind of the rodent world? Yeah, so they have uh, more calls that we've been able to interpret than really any other animal that's out there. So if there's a hawk flying over, for example, uh, they're going to have a specific call for that that says, hey, watch out, there's a hawk. Uh, a snake coming, slithering nearby, a whole nother call, different, different type of sound, communication. It's pretty awesome the different sounds they make. All right, so we've got how many males and females in here? We have one male and four females in this group. When is their mating period? I mean, Valentine's Day is coming up. Is love in the air here? That's right. So uh, early winter is their breeding season. Uh, little fun fact, though, female only goes into estrus for about one hour. When are the babies born? Uh, babies are born usually late winter to early spring after about 30 to 35 days. This particular species of prairie dog doesn't truly hibernate. Uh, these are one of our most uh, interactive and fun to watch exhibits. Like all day long, these guys are out moving around, even in really the deepest of winter. All right, and their diet there, hey, that looks kind of Atkins. That's right, <laughs> obviously they, they are vegetations. They're gonna feed mostly on grasses. Uh, these are some special treats that they have there, but roots, flowers, that sort of thing. Uh, just vegetarians. All right, and of course, what's coming up here at Animal World Snake Farm Zoo for February? All right, so in February, this is actually our breeding season slash baby season. We've got some cool births we're going to be announcing here pretty soon, and we'll do that with you, so hang tight. Uh, but right now, we actually have a brand new baby zebra that was born. It's only a few days old. Uh, he is adorable, and I started to say she because this is the first male we've had born here, I think, since I've worked here in 18 years. Every year it's been females. Oh my we God. have a baby little male this year. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. You're a proud papa. I That's love right. That. Okay. All right, for more information on Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
There's only one way out of here, right? Back over the wall? That's Climb right. Climb over the wall. All right. That's all right.